Sometimes those boxes live back there for a long time. We're gonna be fixing that soon. What is going on? Today we got another first look at Armor Lock's new case for the Yezu FTX-10. Before we get started, let's go ahead and head over to Armor Lock and remind ourselves what is Armor Lock and what do they do for the amateur radio community. Armor Lock is known to make these awesome cages for our radios for backpacks or side saddles or the awesome man pack. They're mostly known for making radio cages. These cages make everything nicely accessible and also protect your radio. So for example, we have the uh, hand mic mounted. They also make a bunch of mounts to help move for some of the ports on the back of your radio to the front of your radio, like they're showing in this picture here. Now this came in about uh, two weeks ago from the Orlando Hand Fest. We had to specially order this because uh, they didn't have any stock, but oh, here it is. Ha ha ha. Of course we got to get rid of the packing. Yeah, we got the cage and we got another box. Oh, this is so nicely wrapped. What do we have in the box here is the two halves of the K shells and plus the screws that came with it so we can mount it to the end of the radio. And the radio is right here next to me. <laughs> I can't wait to get this in. Things to note that I've found so far. These screws here, we're gonna be needing a Phillips head to do that. Kind of curious on why they just didn't use the holes bigger holes here and here to mount the cage. Other than mounting with the two screws here versus the four screws will give you a more mounting point, a more easy distribution of the weight for the system. So maybe that's why we use the four instead of the two. Um, the cage does have enough holes. So if you went ahead and found those screws themselves, you can go ahead and put them in there yourself. But as the package comes, you're gonna have to remove with a Phillips head these four screws. Next, we're gonna to have to find the right cage shell uh, we're gonna to have to put onto it. One of these shells has four screw holes per set, and the other one that does not only has the three there. So I did the four set first, and then we are just going to align it, make sure it lines up. And this is what I think is needed to be assembled. We have the washers down here, and I'm going to put a washer in between the cage and the radio. Be a little tricky to do in aligning. This is what I think the intent is. Also to note, you're going to be needing an Allen wrench because these screws are an Allen wrench keyed and not a Phillips keyed. All right, before I go ahead and button this down, I'm going to shake. Sweet! Ha 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 ha! I got them all in there the first try. I'm going to go ahead and flip this over and do the other side now. Hope this shows up on camera. This edge has a offset for probably standing the radio up on its side and these nubs here um, give it a little extra space. I wonder if the washers were meant for this side. There's no instructions, so I'm kind of guessing. Ah, okay, okay. I see here, now on this side what we just installed, um, they, with the nubs on it, this armor lock cage is actually cut around those nubs so they don't interfere uh, with the sitting of the cage flush. And it's another way to tell which side of the shell is meant for this side of the radio because it's keyed to the actual side. So this side does not have the um, nubs cut out. So I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this up. Wow. Oh, this is so nice. Just pick up right there. <laughs> I love it, I love it. Can't wait to get this to the park and get it all packed up and see how she does. Here we are over here at Cedar Hill State Park and we got the Explorer backpack wrapped up with the armor lock case. Let's go ahead and see how I put her together. Here she is almost all the way zipped up. Let's go ahead and open it up. Just look how that fillets. Ah. So we got the armor lock case with the Yezu radio on it. I had to reposition these bags because the case ends where the handles stick out too far for them to lay parallel so they have to lay on top of each other. I was kind of worried at first that the sides of this case and the zipper would um, kind of interfere because the bag slopes backwards here. However, it zipped up pretty nicely and kept it all snug in a rug like a bug. 
<laughs> Sorry, I, I couldn't help it. The thing I want to point out here is these ends in the back stick, move the radio back about another two inches than normal. They wouldn't sit flush at the bottom here anymore. And that's because cables and other things are normally meant to be sticking out of the radio because these cases are kind of meant to be in a backpack and operated within the bag and to move the cable connections from the back here, loop back around and onto the cage on sticking up on the top or kind of out on these ends here. To utilize this extra space, I just have to move the rig stick expert uh, to the back here and now it fits all in the bag. Look at that. Now with one hand, I can go ahead and just pick up the radio. <laughs> I love it. I love it. These handles are amazing. A feature I just wanted to point out real fast here is the cage does not interfere with the um, bar that pops up and leans the radio up. So I can go ahead and pop that bar up and then now it's looking up at me. Just like here's looking at you, kid. <laughs> Trying to hold this steady. The cool feature about this is I can go ahead and undo the BNC connection and I can leave that connector right there. Before, I'm always taking in, taking out, taking in, taking out, and just out and in, out and in. Now with the cage right there, I, I don't have to. All that's left now is to call CQ. CQ Poda, CQ Poda, CQ Poda, CQ Poda, CQ Poda, CQ Poda. This is Kilo Golf 5, Alpha Hotel Juliet calling CQ. All right, I have finished an activation here, so my final thoughts on the cage. Installation, I wish there was a installation guide to go with it. I kind of had to guess where the washers go and which holes it went into. It was kind of easy self-explanatory after kind of figure it out, but it just would have been nice just to have like a one page there. Also, why can't we just use the bigger holes? Um, I think it'd be easier just the bigger holes. I didn't have to remove those little screws and the different keyed on each screw. We had the Phillips head for what the radio came with, and then you had your Allen wrenches for uh, what the screws came with the um, CAC are. Um, can we keep them the same key so I don't have to have two different ones? Thought. Other than that, I really do like it. I think it's gonna keep my radio safe in the backpack. I love all the extra stuff I can do with it. I haven't done it quite now, but uh, probably in the future I will go ahead and do that. And I think it's really gonna keep the faceplate um, more protected than what it was originally. Overall, I do recommend you getting this if you're going out in the field and you're gonna be having your radio in a bag or you're gonna be taking in and out of the bag constantly like I am. Also, if you wanna go ahead and mount this radio up and get it off the desk on the side of the shelf or up high, this, this will work. I am highly confident that this radio is going nowhere with this product, this armor lock cage for the Azu FTDX10. Um, with that, y'all, I think that's all I have. Y'all have been amazing and awesome. Thank you for watching, and as always, go forth and conquer. <laughs>